Voyager to turn its camera back towards Earth. And it's what basically amounts to Earth's first ever selfie. And that picture was taken, and there was this pale blue. Over the past five years, Voyager 1 has discovered 500 previously unknown objects in space. Currently traversing the interstellar medium, Voyager 1 is exploring regions beyond the reach of Earth-based observatories, unveiling mysteries that continue to astonish us. This remarkable achievement is the result of countless brilliant minds and state-of-the-art laboratories worldwide. Serving as a beacon to the unknown, Voyager 1 has opened our eyes to the breathtaking treasures of the cosmos. Recently, Neil deGrasse Tyson confirmed that Voyager 1 has identified 500 unidentified objects drifting through space. As soon as scientists began analyzing the data collected by Voyager 1, they were astonished to hear this news. A bizarre formation appears on the horizon, and even the most accomplished scientists are baffled by this seething enigma. Several theories have been proposed in an attempt to provide a realistic explanation for the riddle. Ever since Neil deGrasse Tyson verified the discovery, scientists have doubted the veracity of any unusual information delivered from space by another spacecraft. However, we are discussing Voyager, a spacecraft that has outperformed our predictions during its nearly 50 years in orbit. Voyager 1 has defied expectations, staying operational in space for nearly 45 years, a remarkable achievement akin to a patient surpassing all odds. What makes its journey even more extraordinary is the inspiring story it continues to tell from the far reaches of our solar system. During their last update, scientists found that Voyager 1 was hurtling through space at an incredible 14.5 billion miles per hour, showing no signs of slowing down. Remarkably, the distance it covers annually is 3.6 times greater than the combined orbital paths of the Earth and Sun. While the probe's speed will gradually decrease over time as it ventures deeper into space, scientists view this as a natural progression of its incredible journey. Voyager 1 looks to be a unique target in this definition upon deeper examination, as evidenced by its most recent finding. As is the case with scientists on a daily basis, Voyager 1 delivers memorable and thrilling news. Voyager 1 discovers several enigmatic space-traveling items. Because the finding was unplanned, astronomers were concerned when they saw reports of 500 unidentified objects that seemed to materialize out of nowhere. Scientists are rushing to discover an explanation for this idea that nature has offered to them, while in the next minute we remain unaware of the existence of these things. Voyager 1 is often blamed for the challenges scientists face today. Many experts suggest that the initial discovery could have been a mistake when it was first revealed. They believe that the spacecraft may have sent back incorrect data, possibly because of the assumption that Voyager 1's age would depend on this information. Given that Voyager 1 has been operational for over 50 years since its launch in 1977, this theory seems reasonable. If we wish to explore further, one could hope that the probe's computer eventually loses power causing it to malfunction and send faulty signals to the ground crew. While this story may be intriguing, experts caution against pursuing it, as doing so would betray the noble mission of Voyager 1. Even with the difficult and uncharted terrain of space, Voyager 1 is still yielding insightful data about Earth. Unlike its twin, Voyager 2, the space probe contains a dual redundant computer system that contributes to its endurance. Despite the premature assumptions of skeptics, the flight data system and the altitude and articulation control system are the two installed subsystems. This is the unidentified force that gives the spacecraft its unwavering spirit of perseverance and exploration. Redundancy makes it possible to replace systems without interruption and to bring dormant computer components back to life. Earth engineers developed a strategy to optimize the space probe's performance while constructing Voyager 1. This meant that hardwired logic was the sole option for the detector. With time and budget constraints, they had no other choice. The electrical engineer concluded that a simple wired logic design approach was the best solution for the device. As a result, Voyager's six onboard processors were configured into a partition with three dual channels. Once this challenge was addressed, system management presented researchers with another major hurdle. 
creating a continuous power management plan to overcome this critical uncertainty. This is where the process becomes somewhat easier. Power management is necessary to control Voyager's computer system's capability. This is a challenging operation because the probe has limited power supplies. In this scenario, hunters are dispatched far into the forest to go on wild animal hunts armed only with knives. Scientists have devised a number of solutions to lessen and enhance the Voyager ship's power usage. In order to address the issue, power selection for non-essential systems is an excellent illustration of these power management options available to designers. Due to the difficulty of this choice, engineers employed techniques to identify and remove any systems or equipment that did not contribute significantly to the overall mission's main goal. A quick look at the heat generated by certain appliances that need to be turned off highlights this issue. These heaters are designed to maintain the equipment's optimal temperature for proper operation and performance. However, with Voyager's power running low, the story had to change. By extending Voyager's power, its operational lifespan will be lengthened, but its efficiency will be reduced, ultimately benefiting everyone. It's also crucial to recognize that turning off non-essential systems isn't a decision made lightly. As this is an initial investigation, the balance between research objectives and the spacecraft's energy conservation must be carefully assessed. Collaboration from all parties is essential in making this decision. Emotions have no place here. Only the facts matter. The crew's goal is to maximize productivity while preserving the spacecraft's functionality. Voyager serves a vital purpose, continuously gathering important data about our planet. When Voyager reveals long-kept mysteries in hidden locations that have been concealed for decades, neither scientists nor innovators want anything to obstruct their progress. However, there are other ways engineers may maintain Voyager's viability and effectiveness in orbit beyond low-power solutions. To benefit the spacecraft, they need to present another strong suit. Scientists and engineers should collaborate to create power management plans that adjust to the aircraft's changing environment. For instance, Voyager 1 experiences a sharp drop in solar energy as it ventures farther from the sun. Although this is the case, engineers are ready to adjust the aircraft's power consumption to mitigate this growing challenge. These adjustments ensure that energy resources are used efficiently to support the rover's critical mission and transmit data back to Earth. Such modifications highlight the proactive efforts of NASA experts and scientists. The positive developments don't stop there, as power management technology continues to evolve, offering engineers the chance to improve and optimize power systems throughout the year. These advancements include improved battery charging techniques, greater power delivery, and innovations in power management and control. Engineers find satisfaction in adopting energy management concepts into their planning and processes, enabling them to prolong the operational lives of Voyager 1 and its twin spacecraft, Voyager 2. Cautious distribution and administration of Voyager 1's energy resources have allowed it to continue deep space exploration without running out of fuel. Despite its advanced age, the aircraft's primary engines remain functional enabling it to transmit critical data and provide valuable information to ground teams for as long as feasible. This significant accomplishment is remarkable, especially given that the spacecraft's initial usable life was limited to just five years. Voyager 1's remarkable performance stands as a testament to the dedication and expertise of the scientists and engineers behind it. Their unwavering commitment to ensuring the spacecraft's smooth operation monitoring space conditions, and conducting ongoing research has been truly extraordinary. However, we must also acknowledge the unpredictable nature of space exploration. Despite careful planning, unforeseen events can still arise. This includes the recent discovery of 500 unknown objects. While we had some insight into space activity, we were caught off guard by the alarming information transmitted by Voyager 1. From their vantage point, Scientists observed that Voyager 1 seemed afraid of making an error, as if an unidentified object was about to attack its detector. This severe warning caused widespread concern. The scientific community declared an informal emergency, while engineers and scientists worked tirelessly to address the issue. The discovery deviated from the expected data. 
On a good day, Voyager spacecraft would encounter asteroids, space pebbles, and micrometeoroids. Understandably, the team was astonished when Voyager discovered unusual objects with origins untraceable in any known catalog. The unidentified objects appeared almost instantaneously, which only deepened the confusion. While experts swiftly dismissed the chance of a repeat occurrence, scientists were left with the difficult task of explaining why Voyager transmitted such alarming data. Some researchers considered the data to be a malfunction, thinking that this explanation best accounted for the issue with the observation field. The public was informed that there was no clear way to identify the problem, and the signal had arrived unexpectedly. Unexpectedly, Voyager 1 started transmitting enigmatic signals back to Earth. At that point, what shocked scientists even more was that the jet continued to react to directions from mission control. As if that wasn't already weird enough, how could these odd readings be explained? The only issue with this narrative is that communication was a little delayed, even though the ship always answered. The Voyager spacecraft's antenna was still aimed towards Earth to ensure it was receiving and carrying out the correct directives, which surprised experts. Overall, scientists were thrown into a flood of concern because they viewed this circumstance as nothing less than a miracle. Scientific explanations for this anomaly became essential, with many focusing on how the spacecraft was able to transmit mysterious data back to Earth while still operating. The narrative seemed illogical when researchers discovered that the anomaly caused no harm. The confusion deepened as the onboard system, designed to activate upon detecting abnormalities, did not trigger. This was an unexpected turn, as such technologies are meant to safely guide spacecraft and allow engineers to investigate and resolve issues. A separate narrative arose in this enigmatic situation, as Voyager 1 kept operating normally and the security system was not activated. Engineers and scientists occasionally needed to pinch themselves to make sure they weren't dreaming. Scholars were stuck and unsure about what to do next. But the mystique behind this discovery quickly began to fade as researchers searched for further answers. When they eventually found the Golden Gate they were searching for, their efforts finally paid off. Researchers discovered a connection between height and the Joint Control System, ACCS, regarding inequality. The cause of the Warumi incident was traced back to the ACCS. According to Voyager's design, the ACCS controls the probe's location and movement. The scientists were stunned when they discovered that the ACCS was transmitting phone data from an onboard computer that had long stopped functioning. They were shocked to find that this outdated computer, which was never intended for data processing, had unintentionally infiltrated the electronic transmission system. As a result, the data was not being sent back to Earth with transmissions from Voyager being intercepted by the malfunctioning onboard computer. However, scientists still need to understand the cause of this unsettling behavior. What caused the anomaly to emerge out of nowhere? They are somewhat comforted by the most recent findings, but they are still far from believing that Voyager will be able to locate 500 strange and suspicious items everywhere. Finally, ruling out this option and bringing them some peace, science has created an escape. This new approach entails giving ACCS instructions on how to transform phone data into relevant data. Given that it was thought to be less dangerous and that their bets were put correctly, they chose to take this precaution. After the issue was resolved, they encountered a new one. There had been a notable communication breakdown throughout the inquiry. They're a bit concerned that losing all that sleep might not be worth it, especially when they remember the vast distance between Earth and the Voyager spacecraft. Given the separation, a communication delay is to be expected. The spacecraft and our planet are 14.5 billion miles apart, and radio waves have to travel a long way to reach us. The two communicate as follows. Voyager receives commands from NASA's Deep Space Network Mission Control Team, which transmits them via radio waves moving at the speed of light. Thanks to the Deep Space Network, one of the largest radio networks in the world, NASA can maintain contact with spacecraft exploring the solar system and beyond. By enabling simultaneous radar and radio astronomy observations, 
This network aims to increase our understanding of Earth by facilitating two-way communication between Earth and deep space missions. The Deep Space Network often utilizes Channel 18 and the 2.3 GHz or GHz frequency to transmit data from Voyager to Earth. Upon closer inspection, we find that the signal was sent at the speed of light using 2.1 GHz from Earth to Voyager 1. While it may seem thrilling to travel at the speed of light, keep in mind that the probe is still a long way from Earth. Consequently, the signal takes around 22 hours to reach the spaceship, even at supersonic speeds. This means that Mission Control will need to wait 22 hours after sending the command to receive a confirmation or response from the Voyager spacecraft. The mission crew transmitted the instruction to Voyager 1 carefully due to this time delay. They are meticulous to prevent errors, as mistakes would increase wait times. To avoid problems and unnecessary delays, they often take extra time to review instructions and plans before sending and executing them. This delay can result in longer response times when identifying anomalies, such as the ones Voyager 1 has just encountered. Scientists are not happy about this, even though the most widely accepted view holds that the majority of the telemetry relayed to Earth was caused by ACCs receiving incorrect directives from the onboard computer. They believe that one piece was needed to finish the puzzle because there are numerous potential explanations for this anomaly including cosmic rays, heated air, and micrometeoroid impacts. Some scientists are still unclear about the source. The cosmos may be a formidable foe even for a spacecraft the size of Voyager 1. At this point, all we can do is weigh all the options, and scientists will ultimately identify the guilty party as Voyager 1 continues to scour the darkest recesses of the cosmos.